Hi and welcome to tacticalintelligence.net. Um, today I'm going to be covering how you can make your own survival stove. And while this stove can be used for cooking, ideally it is used um, uh, as a heating stove. And um, for example, if you were stranded in your car and you, you, had, you ran out of gas and it was um, cold outside, um, this stove can be used in an emergency to heat your car uh, and keep you alive. So, just to explain a little bit of what I have here before me, um, I have a number of different cans, a normal roll of toilet paper, and uh, rubbing alcohol. And I'm going to go into detail what each of these items are for. So, specifically, right here I have a unused paint can. And um, why unused is because you don't want to have some leftover um, latex paint or oil paint. Uh, because it, when it gets hot and it starts to burn, it, it emits a lot of noxious fumes, which can be dangerous. Um, so you can get these at any hardware store. So what I'm going to use here is a uh, unused normal one-gallon paint can, as well as an unused quart uh, paint can. And again, you want it um, to have no paint in it, and you want to take the label off of it if it has a label. Um, you can also use a... Uh, used up can of, for example here we have baked beans, can be uh, pineapple, just a bigger can that can fit inside either uh, a paint can or something else. But what you want the smaller can to be is slightly bigger than a roll of toilet paper and um, um, about the size of a quart so that you can fit the roll inside here and I'm going to show and demonstrate how you can do that. What you also need is um, some rubbing alcohol and here we have different grades. We have 70% isopropyl and 91%. I prefer the 91% just because it burns cleaner. Um, but as far as burning times, I have tested this with, um, for example, a cotton ball, and they, they both burn around the same time. So the only difference is it's, it's, it has less water than 91%, so it, it burns a little cleaner and leaves less water behind. Uh, in your leftover wick, which in this case is going to be a toilet, toilet roll. So the first step is to take your, your toilet roll and inside of each of the toilet rolls is a little cardboard tube that you want to break apart and pull out. So once you get like the seal broken you can start to pull it out until you're left with uh, nothing but the roll itself. And now here's the harder part. You want to actually take the smaller can, in this case the quart of paint, and kind of roll it, squeeze it and roll it, and you want to stuff that inside of the can. And it takes some, some effort to do this, but as you just work your fingers around it, you can get the whole bottom inside of it. As you get the uh, tube, the toilet paper, the bottom of the toilet paper inside of it, you just keep pushing and working your fingers around the edges until it's stuffed pretty good inside of that quart paint can. And so what you're left with is a perfect little wick here. Um, and the reason why you want it slightly smaller than the toilet paper roll because you want it to expand uh, the full the full, um, I guess, volume of the container. Um, you don't want to have any really free, uh, a free float floating toilet paper roll inside of, like, for example, you don't want to stuff it in a big can where it's just floating there. It's not going to be as effective. So after you've done that step, the next step you want to do is either take your 70% uh, alcohol or your 91%, or if you have both, you can do a mixture, it doesn't matter. And you just want to start to pour that inside and on top of the toilet paper roll. And as you'll notice, I don't know if you can see this, but it, it starts to wick up the alcohol. And you want to keep pouring it until it stops wicking it up. And so it's still absorbing it right now. And I almost got this whole bottle empty here. You're going to use actually quite a bit here. So 
can still see that it's starting to absorb the alcohol. And that's good, you want it to be completely saturated, but not so much that it comes out of it. So right now where it's bubbling, you're getting close to the end here, where it's almost completely saturated. And if you're left with a little bit on top, that's okay. It'll burn off pretty quickly and then you'll just be left with the, the toilet paper and the alcohol combination, which makes for an excellent wick. Now just as a side note, so this is really saturated, and I'll probably stop at this point. I'll let it go just a little bit longer, actually. Just as a side note, if you don't have toilet paper, which um, I'm sure everyone in their household has, you can also use any other fibrous material. If you were out in nature, you could um, use um, cattail down, so the heads of cattail, and stuff that also inside of a can and pour your alcohol over it. You can also use cotton balls. So that's really saturated at this point. So once you have that, what you want to do is you take the smaller can, and you could keep this as it is right now, um, and put it in your car and light it. The problem is this can gets really hot, and um, you want to put it on something that's also metal, something that will insulate it, not just directly on the floor, and also just protect people who might be inside of your car, like a child or an animal. Um, it's better just to put it inside of a bigger can, which provides some type of um, insulate, insulating barrier. So to light it, you can just use a, um, a match or a lighter. I like to use the fire steel that I always have carrying with me and um, just send, send some sparks into it. And there you go. So this will burn for a number of hours, at which point what you want to do is also just kind of carry um, a bunch of these in your car, because as it burns down, you'll want to continue to fill it up um, and, and keep that topped off. And uh, that's pretty much it. Just as a, actually a quick side note, just to snuff it out, you can use the, the lid from the paint candy, the smaller one you don't want to get so close to the fire. Um, but the big one's just better. Put it right on top. It will actually um, suck in all the, you use up all the oxygen until it goes out. Right now you can see it's actually creating a vacuum.